Hello and welcome back to Realm of Thrones, and we've just encountered Mr. Mance Raider, aka the King Beyond the Wall, and now what's really funny about this guy is that as you can see, he is greeting us with a rather wonderful piece of text, and he says, I know your name. They say you are a man of valor. If fate ever decrees that we cross swords, it would be an honor. And he, he says that after we've kind of executed or uh, what 90 90 percent of his of his people uh, he, 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 I, guess, I guess he just doesn't know <laughs> i guess that's that's what's going on there anyway he has not reacted at all to the fact that he has oh he actually has negative 99 relation as you might expect yeah anyway let's take a look at clan raider here as you can see i literally executed almost all of these people uh, we still have uh, Idrun, Rusty, uh, Tain, Sand, Valashin, Agdil, and Ratagost. Don't know whether they're actual vassals. Mm, I assume yes. Yeah, I assume they are. So we're going to have to find them as well uh, before, um, you know, this clan is completely eliminated. But whatever the case, we're going to be fighting Mr. Mance Raider now. And you can see here that he actually has a significant combat strength which I am a little bit worried about and that means that I'm gonna have to be real careful when it comes to manipulating the battlefield oh never mind all right I was gonna <laughs> I was actually hoping that we would be in a situation where it wouldn't be uh this I'm not a big fan of the the, the whole valley thing you know because the valley while it is actually good for us it is um it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit two-dimensional, if you know what I mean. So it's always kind of the same, the way that we have to fight it. Whereas I really enjoyed the previous episode where we were fighting in the forest, you know, where I placed my units in the trees. It would make it very difficult for the enemy's cavalry to actually do anything against us. I thought that was really, really fun. And having them in there actually added a bunch of variety to the, the places that we were going to fight in. And uh, a little bit of extra difficulty as a result of that. Oh, hello. Seems like they're doing the standard circular formation. Okay, not entirely sure why they're doing that. That's very weird. I wouldn't have expected that they would do anything like that, to be honest. I would have thought to myself, no way. There's, you know, basically no benefit to them doing that, considering I have no cavalry to speak of. I have no idea why they would even bother. And why am I not hitting anyone? Okay, apparently I'm not hitting anyone at all. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you very much. I guess I'm actually just being a little bit careful here because I'm kind of worried about my HP. That's probably the reason why I'm being a little bit more hesitant than normal. But, <laughs> yeah, I didn't have the opportunity to fully restore myself. Okay, I guess what I'm going to do is just tell my forces to charge in. But the problem with that is that I really don't want them chasing after random cavalry units. So I, suppo I suppose the best thing that I can possibly do is just kill them myself which is obviously a little bit of a little bit of a tedious exercise but uh i suppose i can try oh that, look at that damage that is so incredible yeah someone actually asked can you make this can you make this club i'd, li I'd actually like to know that i would actually like to know whether you can make a version of this yourself um i'd highly doubt you can but you never know maybe there is an opportunity to smith it, you know, to smelt it in the smith and gain, gain the parts, you know, because if you can gain the parts, then obviously you're going to be able to make it. But I, I would probably say, you know, very hesitantly, probably not. But you never know. Maybe, I don't know, maybe the mod developers were just like, yeah, let's do that. Let's make it so that you can actually create this amazing Giants Club. Uh, because it is incredibly fun. That would be a really, really fun thing for them to do, but I think they're they're more going for lore accuracy and things like that. So, you know, I mean, obviously this is a, an earlier version of, of the mod, and it is going to, you know, update. There is going to be an update coming relatively soon, and um, I, I personally am looking forward to that, uh, but obviously if I do update, then we won't be able to take this save with us. Because it is, um, it's probably save gaming compatible, I assume. Anyway, I'm just going to be telling my forces to charge in now. There doesn't seem to be any reason for me to hang around. There is, there, wait, wait a minute, what's he doing? Dying, by the looks of things. Anyway, uh, yeah, I was, I was about to say, there seems to be one, uh, one more cavalry left over. So I should probably do some damage to him, shouldn't I? Anyway, let me see if I can get some one-handed weapon skill. 
One-handed. Nope. Thrown weapon skill, thank you. Nice. Can we get some more of that, please? Uh, don't hit the shield, please. Don't hit the shield. Uh, anything but the shield. Anything but the shield. That would be that would be wonderful. Yeah, look at that. That's the kind of attack I want. That's the kind of hit I want. A headshot from a far distance while you're while you're. Uh, I was about to say driving, but no, you're not driving your your horse. You are riding your horse. But yes, while you are riding your horse, you want to go as fast as possible to level up really, really quickly. That's generally the secret of leveling your riding skill and your ranged skill, whatever it might be. I, I, I have, um, I've mentioned this multiple times before where people say, hey, what's the best way to level you know, X skill or whatever? And generally, I will always say, if you're leveling riding or something like that, especially riding, it's going to be super, super easy for you to level if you literally just get a, a ranged weapon of some kind and just hit people from range while, while running at almost full speed or running very quickly then you're going to have a really, really nice time leveling it up. It's going to be so incredibly easy for you, or shall we say, easier, because bear in mind I do have Chaos's Tweaks installed at the moment with this playthrough, and I am getting 150% of the original um, experience value, which is actually just 50% more than the, you know, than, uh, than what you normally get, which is not, not terribly... Not terribly imbalanced, as you might tell from the fact that I still only have 250 two-handed weapon proficiency. If I had increased it any more, I'd probably be looking at, what, 300, maybe 325 in two-handed if I had more in Vigor. But, yeah, I digress. The fact is, uh, you're going to obviously be having a much better time with the leveling pace of your ranged skills as well as your riding skill as well. And that's a really nice thing, in my opinion. Um, it's a good little, good little strategy, you know, a little tip here and there, just to kind of improve the uh, the speed and the pace of your leveling. Because obviously, there are moments in the game, and this is not a, you know, this is not a Realm of Thrones, you know, specific thing. But generally, Bannerlord as a whole does have some issues with uh, with pacing in regards to the skill leveling uh, you know skill leveling and so on and so forth you know for me personally I have found that trade skill very difficult to level maybe they've changed that changed that now I don't know but whatever the case there you go look at <laughs> they all got murdered they all got absolutely murdered I I really yeah I mean it is to be expected and we are going to be executing him as you might expect oh yeah by the way someone oh someone absolutely saved my uh, proverbial bacon, uh, you know, if you if pardon the expression, but here's the thing. You told me about this thing that you can do. It's kind of like a method where if you have, you know, if you executed a huge amount of people, what you can do, and I, I wasn't aware of this, okay? And this is really funny considering I have almost, you know, maybe over a thousand hours now or near to a thousand hours in the game. I, I didn't know this. If you've executed a lot of people, maybe you don't know this either, and maybe this is going to be helpful to you, then what you can do is you can just quit out of the game, you can just save, quit out of the game, and then load back in, and then all of those pop-ups are going to go away. So you don't need to install a mod, like I was talking about. I have installed the mod, by the way, but I just wanted to tell you the alternate method if you actually didn't, didn't want to install the mod, or if you're on console. If you're on console, this is obviously going to help you a great deal, because you obviously can't install mods. So what you can do is, as I say, execute the guy, and then you can quit out straight away after saving, of course, you know, save and exit or whatever. And then you can go back to the main menu and then you go back in and then all the pop-ups are inevitably gone, which is amazing. So thank you very much uh, to the person that actually told me about that, because I had no idea. I had, n I really had no idea. That's such an incredibly helpful thing. But as you can see, this is what no relation does. So you can see here, it basically just puts in to the text log. It just outputs the information into the text log rather than into a uh, pop-up form. And in my opinion, this is better. This, this method of info uh, relay or information relay or whatever, you know, it's, it's conveying this information in a much more digestible form than the pop-ups themselves because the pop-ups once you see them they're gone 
I, as far as I'm aware. I don't think you can actually look through the list, but you can see here exactly what's going on. So for example, if I wanted to look at, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, or who, who do I want to look at? I don't know, uh, the Mandalay people. Look at that, boom. You can, you can exactly see what's going on there. You can see what's happening with the Starks. You can see what's happening with the Martells and so on. And that's actually fantastic. You can see here that Stannis actually does not like us at all. He has he has minus 57. And we are uh, losing 10 with him, which is unfortunate. I, I kind of feel, you know what? I kind of feel that some of these guys should actually increase in, uh, in favor because you're eliminating enemies that are all, all intents and purposes well opposition that they don't like you know they shouldn't like these people but apparently they are uh <laughs> they're kind of a bit annoyed about executions in general I, I suppose that's something that maybe will be worked on in the in the future uh, i i do realize that um i think the change log there is a change log of uh realm of thrones and the uh, amount of changes that are coming are really really fun and they look really, really good. And, ah, hello, Rob Stark. Oh, yeah, he's going to do an annoying thing now, isn't he? Yeah. He is going to do a really annoying thing. Okay. Um, I'm actually wondering... Yeah, okay, we're just going to go for trebuchets. I was actually wondering whether I should go for trebuchets or whether I should... Oh, hello. Oh, should I actually... You know what? Apparently, I should really go and uh, attack these guys because uh, I don't want to get ambushed by, yeah, as you can see, by even more of them. So, <laughs> oh, what are these guys doing? Okay, this is hilarious. Okay, yeah, there are so many of them right now. But thankfully, I think I might have a decent, a decent chance against them, hopefully. I did see that she has giants. She has five giants. She also has a bunch of noble units as well. These guys don't have any giants or anything. Ah, th that one does have giants as well. All right, well, let's hopefully not be fighting on the valley. Oh. We're fighting on the valley. All right. I'm actually wondering whether I should just tell my people just to straight up charge in at this point. Because I'm thinking, hey, you know what? Maybe that's going to be something that I should do instead of just waiting. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So we're just going to move a little bit faster here. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, they're they're, they're kind of just... Okay, they're kind of just standing there. I don't know whether this is a good idea, by the way. I, all, things in, all things considered, I don't think it's a good idea. But I'm kind of... Um, <laughs> I'm kind of antsy, you know? I'm kind of antsy. I want to get over to Then, and I want to take it, because obviously Stark has now decided to declare war, and he would do that, wouldn't he? He would do that, because, you know, he's seeing that the Free Folk are extremely weak, and he's making this into a race against time now, basically. He's making it so that we have to basically rush uh, to try and take anything that we can, because he's going to come in, and he's going to try and take as many thieves as he can too and I have no idea how strong the north is at the moment I think they're pretty strong so me having to fight a bunch of them at the same time or very shortly after defeating the free folk is going to be a big big problem for us so I'm not very much looking forward to it but um we'll see what happens that's the reason why I kind of have I, I kind of feel like we have a bit of a time limit on things I'm actually just going to tell my people just to hold position right right back here real fast and I'm going to try and take out a couple more of their cavalry ah oh, I could feel that that was really close but unfortunately not close enough okay that was some good damage even though it wasn't uh, it wasn't killing anyone but it, it was decent enough not too bad can I get some more, please? Yeah, there we go, there we go. Oh, yeah, this is what we like. This is what we like to see. Look at how much damage that's being done. Nice. Can we get more of that? I'm serving it up on a silver platter, and it seems like it's doing okay. Not too bad. We are taking some damage now, because, of course, they are retaliating, which is, as you might expect, kind of irritating for us, but, you know, that's just how we go. That is just how we go. And... Wow, that's that's really good, actually. I feel like the charge damage is super nice, actually, now. I'm, I'm not sure how that happened, but apparently charge damage has been buffed or something like that, because I, I remember in previous versions, very vividly, that I was using a horse, and no matter what happened, I would always do about one damage, maximum three, 
I'm not sure. They must have changed it or something like that, or maybe it's just the mod, or I, I don't know. But uh, I think I think in general they have improved the amount of charge damage, and that kind of makes me wish that maybe what I'm going to do next time, maybe uh, next time I'm, I make a character with you know significant amount of writing skill, I might decide to go for something that is a bit more charge based. In other words, you know, charge damage based, because I think that would be quite fun. You know, to literally run through an archer line and deal so much damage just from the charge that you actually end up killing a couple of people. That would be amazing. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, you know, because killing people with charge damage is unlikely, you know, at the best of times. But you never know. Maybe maybe it's going to maybe it's gonna happen. Maybe it's going to happen. Anyway, as you can see, my giants are just completely running them down, which is exactly what we want to see. And now, hopefully the reinforcements will not be too significant look at that 748 damage from a head bash because that is indeed a head bash and i think we're pretty good okay so we can just speed things up and that's it all right there you go that was a very very nice battle we did end up losing four giants but as expected not bad that's okay that is acceptable. That is an acceptable loss. And we are going to be taking everyone prisoner, as you might expect. And we have taken the new uh, the new king beyond the wall, which is indeed Rusty. And we're also going to be capturing seven giants. I'm not entirely sure whether giants can actually be converted. Which is a bit of an issue. Uh, oh, Rusty Giant Club. Look at that. There's another one. Okay, hello there. Um, who has good two-handed skill? Does Hodor have good two-handed skill? He does. Hello there. Yes, you're going to be using this. I'm actually going to want him to use this only, so I'm going to uh, transfer Bone Crusher away from him for now. And uh, yeah, that's looking real nice, in my opinion. That's looking really, really good. Okay, so... Let's take... Oh, I actually can't take the rest because we haven't been able to sell for a significant period of time. However, I can probably get rid of some grain. There we go. Let's get rid of some grain and then I can just get the rest. There we are. Let's get the Batanian Pony as well. And there we have it. Okay, fantastic. So let me just see. I need to make sure that I'm not having any herd problems before we move on. And also I should execute everyone. Oh, these guys didn't actually get involved in the, in the battle. That's kind of unfortunate. Okay, they're running away. All right, well, I'm just going to execute. As you can see, no relations doing its job, which is really nice, so we don't have to deal with those pop-ups. And we will then be done. And then we can go over to Then. Hopefully, that's going to be fine. But obviously, me doing this, right, as I said before, is making things even more difficult for... Uh, well, should, sorry, should we say it's making it more difficult for the free folk to defend themselves against the north and that is a big problem in itself so yeah i'm not entirely sure how we're gonna do this actually we're just gonna do this i'm not actually gonna build any ranged siege whatsoever because i don't want to lose anyone to siege bombardment and you know how i feel about siege bombardment I'm not going to go over that again but whatever the case I think this is actually going to be pretty good because what's going to happen now is we're going to go in there. Obviously, I've got a bunch of giants. This is a bit of a problem, though. The ballistas might be a bit of a problem. So I'm thinking maybe I'll get my own ballistas or. Uh, yeah, or I could go for some catapults. <sighs> How difficult. Hmm. Not entirely sure. All right, uh, we're just going to spend some more points into intelligence and into uh, engineering. That seems pretty decent. My throne weapon skill didn't level up as much as I wanted, but oh well, never mind. Can't really have everything we want, can we? And otherwise, should I go for some ballistas? <sighs> I don't want siege bombardment casualties, though. That's the problem. But I do want to eliminate the enemy ballistas. Okay, I'm going to go for some catapults, I guess. We'll go for some catapults because they have more HP. Maybe it's going to be less likely for us to sustain siege bombardment casualties, and I would like to be able to uh, eliminate some of these ballistas, potentially. I mean, maybe it's a better idea that I actually just go for, um, I don't know, just go for uh, trebuchets or something like that. That might actually be better, but 
I kind of want something that's going to 100% have enough damage per second to be able to eliminate the enemy, uh, the enemy ballistas because they're just going to be so incredibly harsh against our giants because the giants are massive targets, of course. So it's going to make things really difficult for us. But anyway, uh, there we go. All right, so we're done here. Now let me actually have a look-see. How much HP do these have? Okay, not too bad. Let's hope that they actually kill all of these really, really fast. Oh, there's one catapult. Let's destroy that catapult. Uh, yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's one left. Oh, how irritating. They don't have enough damage to be able to... Ah, oh, that's really irritating. Okay, fine, fine. Oh, we can Oh, we can get some giants. Yes. Well, we can get one giant and we can get uh, three elite unsullied as well. So that's going to be really, really fun to see. Otherwise, let's go straight on in and see what we can do. This is the first time that we're going in to a siege with, uh, well, I think with this many giants, right? Yeah, with this many giants. The last time that we went in, we had uh, not that many we had about, what, 40 or something like that. And now we are going in with a lot more. Obviously, the walls are not down. You've got to bear that in mind. And there is one ballista still active, which is obviously going to be a huge issue. So hopefully it's not going to be too good for them. Uh, but it's in a decent position, as you can see. So I'm wholeheartedly assuming I'm going to lose a bunch of giants to that. Oh, they're not even... Oh, they're not even doing the siege to... Okay, they're not even doing the siege tower. They're not even doing the siege tower. And as you can see, they're actually... <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, they're actually killing... Uh, yeah, the person on the ballista was actually killing a giant every single time uh, they could. Okay, yeah, I should have realized that they couldn't use the ladders or the siege towers because they're giants, obviously. I mean, they're not going to be able to do that. Maybe they're going to be able to get into the gate. Can they actually... Whoa, okay, I can't even see what's going on here. I'm, I'm terribly sorry about the, uh, the camera angle right now. But I can't do much about that, unfortunately. So I'm just going to try and attack as much as I can here. Oh, wow. Don't, just don't even look at the screen right now. This is terrible. This is really bad. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm, I, I, what, how did I get inside? <laughs> how did I get inside? I didn't even know where I was. Okay, that is hilarious. Anyway, let's just see, uh, see if I can... Okay, well, never mind. Apparently, I shouldn't even be here. I should just walk on. Let me just walk on. See if I can do some damage elsewhere. My giants should, theoretically, once they get into the actual battlements, should be pretty good at what they do. Should be pretty good. What? This giant... Th there we go. This giant hammer or mace thing should literally kill, kill shields in one hit, but apparently it doesn't. Oh, well, never mind. Anyway, I'm, I'm probably not hitting as, as uh, potentially hard as I... What's going on with my strong legs, by the way? Strong legs doesn't seem to be working. 23 fall damage. Ah, yeah, never mind. Anyway, let me just uh, speed the things up a real quick second because I don't really want to be um, getting into that insane amount of uh, enemies again. But as you can see from the right side of the screen, everyone has just completely gotten murdered. And maybe I can get a little bit more two-handed skill myself. Or maybe some throne skill or something like that. I'd like to get to 200. That would be quite nice. But uh, the thing that I want the most is obviously the impale skill. That is just my favorite thing ever. But uh, yeah, if I can't do that, then that's absolutely fine. I'm going to just have some fun with this wonderful two-handed. Can I, can I actually do some damage? Okay, there we go. We actually did some damage. How amazing. Okay, I've got to be careful as well. You've got to bear that in mind. I cannot die. I'm actually, uh, well, I can die, obviously. It's not a big deal. It's not warband, you know. It's not native warband where I'm going to, you know, end the battle if I die. But I'd like to stay alive as much as I possibly can. Because it is a lot of fun to run around here with my giants and everything. But, uh, yeah, you never know. <laughs> let's, just, let's not die. Let's not die. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can my giants even get... Oh, they can. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, can they even enter this doorway? Yes, they can. It turns out that they, yeah, they, they very much can. That is, uh, that is wonderful. 
That is very, very cool. I gotta say, I actually really love the addition of the Giants because I was thinking to myself, it's gonna be difficult, right? It's gonna be difficult to play as a Giant in general. I think there are some issues with playing as a Giant, but um, having Giants in your army, that works basically flawlessly. I haven't had any problems with uh, with crashes due to, the, uh, due to them or anything like that. So it's actually pretty nice. And I'm actually just going to wait here now. And we're just going to speed things up real fast. And that will then be it. Because as you can see, the enemy has only 30, well, 10, well, 5 <laughs> people remaining. And we are good. Yeah, we are good. And look at that. Jamie Lannister has gained a level. Very nice indeed. I think Willem also gained a level in one of the previous fights. And there we have it. Wonderful. They have now retreated to the keep, which is absolutely fine. Uh, and we're just going to send troops in because I obviously can't join because I'm very low HP. I was actually planning on joining, but I am too low HP to be able to do that. And I'm going to be taking her prisoner because she actually killed a bunch of my giants. And I'm not a big fan of that. Thank you very much. So we will do that. And then we'll get a giant here. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm, I'm going to take... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me have a look here. Yeah, I'm going to take some of these. And these, uh, and I'll take some of the Hawkeyes as well. Uh, actually, should I just take the high-level units? Yeah, I'll just take the high-level units. There we go. I is that all? Yeah, those are all the high-level ones. Okay. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. And I'm just going to put them in the garrison because we can, we can convert them over time. Obviously, I don't have improved garrison mod installed at the moment. But uh, generally, if I did, then I would obviously be able to do that. But let's just go into the, go into the dungeon here. And we'll just place every single person in here apart from the Then, because I'd like to level those up. Because uh, I might not have time, you know. I might not have time. Oh, they don't have enough space. Are you serious? Okay. They don't have enough space. All right, well, that's interesting. I'm kind of surprised about that. Anyway, let me just choose a couple of people here. 1,400, that's perfectly fine. Let's manage the town real fast. Okay, so loyalty is looking real... Wow. Okay, that's looking real bad. Mm, okay. Okay, it's actually not even bad. I mean, look at this. The, the projects they've completed are so far pretty good, all things considered. We're going to make Willem the governor here. As you might expect, he's going to be our governor. And uh, let me see. Going to put 20k in here. Actually, you know what? I have so much. Why do I, I have so much money? Yeah, I have so much money. Let's just put, let's just put a massive amount in there. And uh, I'm going to wait for this to stabilize. Obviously, they need food, right? They need food. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell my food here. Uh, I've got a massive amount of grain, so I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to give them a bunch. I have 52 days worth of uh, food remaining. Going to give them some cows and sheep and all that stuff as well. And they've got a bunch of hardwood, as you can see. So if I bought a wood workshop here or something like that, it would probably probably do pretty well. Anyway, let me just see if anyone needs any upgrades. This guy needs an upgrade for his sword? Really? Oh, okay. Well, there you go then. Uh, anyone else? Anyone else? No, no one else. All right, so that means I can sell all of my armaments. Okay, that's too much. Uh, yeah. All right. Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Okay, yeah, there's way too much here. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, I guess I will just take all of this back then. Uh, yeah, okay, my bad. Made a made a pretty big error right there because I'm going to be wasting so much money and I don't really want to do that. But uh, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't know. Do I care about it that much? I don't really care about it that much. But, you know, I'd like to not waste money unnecessarily because let's face it you know it's kind of there we go i'm just going to waste 4000 that's not that's not that big a deal all right so here we go um i think i'm not going to do any smithing I, this is the wrong character for the smithing uh, i was i was thinking i was going to do some smithing because i was playing my uh, my stream character but no no <laughs> it's not that anyway uh let me see increase your armor while on foot well obviously this is pretty good right yeah Foot troops in your formation gain five armor as well, which is pretty incredible. So that means that, uh, you know, my giants are going to gain some armor. So that's going to be kind of nice, I guess, maybe. Uh, do they have a wood workshop? Yeah, there is a wood workshop. So I'm actually going to buy that. I want to buy your wood workshop. There we go. 30,000 for it. Wow. Okay, that's pretty expensive. But we're, we're doing fine in terms of money, of course. 
Okay, so Thin is now ours. And now we can create our own faction. Or at least I should be able to, right? Yeah, I am Clan Tier 4, so let's do it. And so to do that, uh, they changed how you did this um, before. So now what I'm going to have to do... Oh yeah, I have to go into the keep and actually speak to him. It's kind of a bit weird how you do it. But um, yeah, anyway. It is time to take a momentous step. It is time to proclaim a new kingdom. Here we go. The Laws of Dragonstone. There we go. Very well. I'll name it... Uh, oh no, I didn't think about a name actually. I didn't think about a name. Uh, I, I I could just you know what I'm gonna I, I'll, I'll take some suggestions. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna gonna go for um, King Fom. No, Kingdom of Reformia. There we go. I'm gonna go for that. But uh, I'm gonna take some suggestions in the comments. So by all means, let me know, and uh, I I might decide to change it. But as it stands, this is usually my go-to, unless I want to be hilariously silly, in which case I'll call it something like Basket of Fruit or something like that. But no, we're not gonna do that. So there we go. May the may Kingdom of Reformia be forever be victorious. There we go. And oh, we get a cool cutscene. We got a nice little cutscene with a rusty dagger in the center of a map. That's wonderful. I like it. Ooh, we're looking pretty cool. That's me right there, right? Or shall we say that's Elias? It's not me. But uh yeah, that is that well, look at him. Look at him. He's looking pretty ornate with his armor there. Does he have good shoes? He does have good shoes. Oh, when did I get new shoes? I'm not entirely sure. His pants don't look particularly good, though. Might have to do something about that, but there you go. Anyway, that's a nice little uh, <laughs> nice little cutscene right there. And uh, I'm actually wondering... Yeah, we don't have anyone in the garrison here. We don't have anyone in the garrison, so this is a bit problematic. I'm going to have to recruit some troops. And then literally just put them in the garrison just randomly. Because that's the only way we're actually going to get anywhere with these people. So, uh, yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, we declare war on Dragonstone and the Free Folk. That's absolutely fine. And now we can actually institute some policies as well. Actually, I can't even institute any policies because I have zero influence. This is when it would have been wonderful for us to actually, um, you know, <laughs> have some uh, have some people to fight. You know, <laughs> have some people to fight. That would be uh, pretty cool. But the way it is right now, yeah, no. We can't do anything about that right now. All right, so how is the how is the thing doing? Okay, we're actually, uh, well, obviously prosperity's gone down a lot. But we are getting, yeah, look at that. Grain is doing pretty well, as you can see. I gave them a huge amount of grain. And that is making a pretty, pretty significant difference. But I'm thinking maybe I'll give them my fish as well. Give them a bunch of fish too. There we go. And I can always go over to where else? Uh, I can go down here to the fish. We might be able to get some of that. And why is Lawn? Lawn is ah bound settlement is fist of the first men, which is where here. Ah, yeah, okay. Uh, we need to actually call Mister Sand to come back to us right now because he's being a bit of a okay. He doesn't even have enough for me to be able to call him. That's kind of unfortunate. Anyway, oh, the Veil vale has declared war on me. As you can quite clearly tell. The Vale, for some reason, is so incredibly aggressive. I don't know what's going on with them, but the, yeah, they seem to be really, really... They just want to kill everyone, let's just say that. They just want to kill everyone, no matter who it is. Okay, so Mr. Sand, can you please go into the garrison over there and just, you know, make sure everything's cool? Okay, the Reach are declaring war against me. Oh, hello. Okay, this is... Ooh. I don't know whether I'm actually going to be able to achieve victory here against this. I should be able to. Let me just take a quick look here, though. The wild hares. I okay. They only have two of them. Le uh, two of them left, and they're both. What? Wait a minute. There's there's three of them. Oh yeah, there is three of them. Never mind. Okay. Uh yeah. Okay. So they're going to besiege. Do we want to let them besiege? Yeah, I think we're going to probably let them besiege. But I could also fight them. Uh, I don't really want to let them besiege it, all things considered. I think I would prefer to fight, but they have 500 and 560. I think I can probably take that, right? Can I take that? I'm not entirely sure. I guess we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode off here. We finally created our own kingdom, which is pretty nice. But unfortunately, now everyone's declaring war on me, but they are so incredibly far away. Are they going to be able to do anything to us? That is the question. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.